Hello everyone, welcome back once again to Unacademy. You guys are cordially welcome once again. I am Praveen Mishra and we are going to proceed on our today's hot topic of the day, the internet sensation today, that is the statement about NASA. So NASA has spotted some X-spaced structure in the Earth's upper atmosphere, right? So what's the concept here? An X-shaped structure has been identified by NASA, right? First of all, where, okay, in the upper atmosphere, specifically speaking, into the ionosphere region, okay. So, scientists, they're still struggling to explain them. So, point is, the scientist community has so far yet not given any proper explanation as because they do not even have the explanation. Specifically, they are trying to go ahead with the research and development, okay, the R&D is going on with regard to this x shape, shape structure. Okay, so NASA's mission that is known as gold mission. Okay, so NASA ka ek mission hai. Terms aapko prelims ke perspective se dhyan rakhna hai. Mission ka naam hai gold. Unho ne X shape aur saath hi saath ek dousra shape hai, yani ki C shape. Okay, ye jo hai structure found kiye hai. Kaha par into the ionosphere. Earth's ionosphere which is having the active plasma molecules. Right? Okay, so this is actually I have a term in inverted commas ke andar, alphabet soup. So, what do you mean by the term alphabet soup? So, alphabet soup is not a scientific term. This is an English slang language where there is a meaning hota hai, which is literally difficult to explain. Okay, so anything which is verbally or in written terms difficult to explain that is known as the alphabet soup. Okay, so please remember guys, this is a term which you might be finding it every now and then in your newspapers or news channels. So what's the reality about the word alphabet soup is, it's nothing but a, but a slang language. Okay, so something which is difficult to explain, it is known as alphabet soup. So right now, this X and C-shaped structures on the ionosphere, okay, above the Earth's atmosphere in the ionosphere, uh, ionosphere, this is what in the scientific community it has been termed as alphabet soup as if that scientists do not have the correct explanation on this so what is the ionosphere here how do we define something as ionosphere so here you can see ionosphere okay so where exactly it is at the outer level of the earth right okay so ionosphere it is what an electrifying region of earth's atmosphere that exists because of radiation from the sun okay so what is needed to be understood here it exists because of the radiation from the sun strikes the atmosphere. Okay, so simply we can call it when, okay, in just one single term, when the earth's radiation, they do strike here, okay, when they do strike the earth's atmosphere, okay, it creates a system, it's created the another envelope that is known as the ionosphere, okay, in one single language you can call it, right. So its density increases during the day as its molecules become electrically charged. So at the daytime, the density increases, okay? And by default, in the night, the density will fall, okay? So that's because sunlight causes electrons to break off atoms and molecules, right? So that, uh, this creates what? This creates technically something that is known as plasma, uh, plasma. And this is also something which enables the radio signals to travel over long distances. Right. So, guys, what you need to understand from this point here, that is the sun's rays. Okay. Why does the ionosphere exist? It exists because the sun's radiation strikes the atmosphere. Okay. So, when they do strike, okay, it literally increases the density during the daytime, obviously, when the uh, sun rays are striked. And because of this striking of the sun rays, okay, this electrically charged particles, they do give birth to what? They do give birth to the plasma, okay. Why? Because the electrons, sunlight, okay, it causes electrons to break off the atoms and molecules. So, whatever the atoms and molecules we do have in our atmosphere, because of the sun's harsh rays, they do break. Okay, and when they do break, it creates what? It creates plasma. 
and this plasma it enables the radio signals to travel over the long distances so whatever the telecommunication system we do have okay whatever from your mobile phones to satellite phones to d2h okay to internet to the connectivity that takes place in the airplanes or flights or jets whatever okay they do travel through one particular layer that is known as ionosphere okay and the plasma there okay terms as the transferring agent right and here comes in picture the gold satellite of nasa so what is this gold satellite of nasa it 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 is literally made to go ahead for the research of the ionosphere region okay so as what we can see nasa's gold okay iska full form kya hai global scale observation of the limb and the disk okay so gold global space scale observation of limb and disk mission is a geostationary satellite that has been measuring densities and temperatures in the ionosphere kab launch hua tha ye it was launched in october 2018 right and it is having its uh, geostationary orbit where in the western hemisphere okay so launched by nasa where is nasa in the west so these uh, this is what you can relate nasa's satellite is also available it's hovering where into the western hemisphere of our globe okay right so gold was recently studying two dense crests particularly in the ionosphere located north and south of the equator so what they have created the x shape structure as well as the c shape structure and what it is in the scientific community it's a alphabet soup nothing can be explained so far that means so as night falls okay low density bubbles they appear within these crests that can interfere with the radio as well as the gps signals okay right so how this is what x shape is formed as given by some experts into the field but it is not yet clear okay this is something which is not yet clear so however it's not just the wax and the vein of sunshine that affects the ionosphere the atmospheric layer is also sensitive to solar storms as well as huge volcanic eruptions so iski wajah se bhi ye create ho sakta hai okay but dhyan rakhne wali baat kya hai ki abhi tak ye confirm nahi hua hai okay guys so i believe all of these terms are crystal clear okay x shape and c shape kahan par hai ionosphere ke upar available hai okay aur kaise bana hai abhi tak ye justified nahi hai okay guys so please remember that from now onwards the subscription charge is nearly 29999 rupees that is 30000 rupees okay so they are rising again so guys please go ahead and quickly grab the opportunity of the an academy plus lekin ye 30000 pe bhi aapko jo hai excess 10% ka discount mil sakta hai ek baat dhyan rakhna you can get 10% of the discount right you once you use the promo code known as pmias so guys please go ahead quickly take the opportunity 30000 rupees par aapko 10% off mil sakta hai agar aap promo code ka istemal karte hain to right so it's a limited time offer obviously aur agar koi bhi query hai to ye jo hamara helpline number hai 8585858585 you can just go ahead and call on the number the concern team will provide you all of the support and the help needed right so apart from that we have got the vijeta batch as well that is commencing from 8th of july okay that is that has already been common simply speaking right so from pratik naik sir to madhukar kotwe sir runal patel sir siddharth arora sir and we have got darshan gurjar sir the best educators of the upsc csc in the nation they are available only and only on the an academy plus so guys once again here is your promo code so use the promo code and go ahead with the batches like manzil batch okay we have got the Achievers batch, we have got the NEET batch. Okay, guys. So, कोई भी आप जो है course purchase कर रहे हैं, सभी courses के purchase के लिए आपका जो promo code है, वो same रहेगा. That is PMIAS. क्या मिल रहा है आपको? Prelims और mains का preparation मिल रहा है. Comprehensive study material मिल रहा है. फिर उसके अलावा जितने भी batches हैं, आप सभी को access कर सकते हैं. ऐसा नहीं कि कोई एक ही batch आप access करेंगे. Right? ओके, सो गाइस क्विकली ग्रैब द अपॉर्चुनिटी और ध्यान रखिएगा कि अन अकेडमी समिट यूपीएससी समिट भी हो रहा है इन एसोसिएशन विथ द हिंदू राइट सो दिस इज अ रिमार्केबल थिंग दैट इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन योर लाइफ ऑफ एन एस्पिरेंट 
राइट सो कौन कौन रहेगा हमारे पास हेयर विल बी श्री के अन्ना मलाई सुहासिनी हैदर वी हैव गॉट श्री नितिन गडकरी महेश मुरलीधर भागवत and apart from that dr j radha krishnan so you can see some wonderful personalities in the list right so guys aapko inse milna hai ye summit online hi hoga dhyan rakhna hai but you have to register for it okay so register on the unacademy app okay it's going to happen on july 20 and july 2021 2024 right everyone so that's it from my side today see you all in the very next one bye bye take care jai hind